According to NASA, the colonization of Mars will begin not with humans, but with robots sent ahead to construct habitats, rovers, and life support units. Food and supplies will be sent next, and then finally, the first humans will arrive, ready to start their new lives as Martians. The Martian environment is very different to Earth. It has 38% of the gravity of Earth. The daily temperature fluctuations are very extreme. For instance, if you're near the equator on a summer day, it can be as warm as 70 degrees Fahrenheit, but at night, the temperatures could drop down to minus 100 degrees Fahrenheit. So there's a lot of things out there that's getting us, including radiation as well in the dust storms. The atmosphere is incredibly thin, about 1% of uh, that of Earth. There's no breathable oxygen there. The radiation is very high as well. And so astronauts there are faced with multiple difficulties. A Martian day is almost like Earth's. It's 24 hours and 39 minutes, so it's just a little bit longer than a day on Earth. But a Martian year is two years, because Mars' orbit is twice the size of Earth's. Because of the day-night cycle and the thin atmosphere, Mars is the only nearby planet where large-scale greenhouses lit by natural sunlight can be utilized. These structures will allow the colonizers to grow their own food on the cold and barren planet. Obviously, you can't rely on food parcels from home coming every two years. You're going to have to grow your own food. A lot of people think, well, that's pretty straightforward. You just take a few potatoes and cabbages, and away you go. You can do farming on Mars. Now, research that's been done at Arizona State University suggests that when you send microorganisms into space, they behave differently. They don't like it up there. Hundreds, if not thousands, of PhD theses in the last 20 years have been written about how to grow food on Mars. And there was a very interesting experiment done a couple of years ago in Holland where NASA provided the Dutch with what they thought was almost an identical copy of the soil on Mars. And the Dutch planted 4,200 seeds in it of all kinds of different vegetables, and every single seed germinated. Some things did better than others, like carrots grew very well there. There is no question that we will be able to grow food on Mars, but it's going to be hundreds of years before we grow enough food on Mars that we can survive from the food we grow. The only way we're going to be able to do that is to terraform the planet so that it becomes much more Earth-like, so that we can grow crops on the surface of the planet in recent years, scientists have proposed various methods to terraform Mars, deliberately altering it to be more Earth-like. Most focus on melting the ice at the poles to release carbon dioxide into the atmosphere to thicken it. If we heat up the poles on Mars, that causes a significant temperature rise on Mars, and we start having flowing water on Mars, especially around the equator then water itself will go into the atmosphere, which is another greenhouse gas, and we will warm up Mars, and we will be able to plant crops on the surface of Mars. But that's a ways away. That's probably at least 300 years away. 